What's happening, brothers? This video is for those of you who are 30 and below, who are in a long-term committed relationship, who are looking to get married, or who are looking to be in a long-term committed relationship. You wanna have a girlfriend that you will eventually marry. But you're struggling with the behavior with pornography. In the past month or so, I've spoken to no less than five guys who were usually, number one, struggling with porn, number two, were in a long-term relationship, committed relationship, number three, were blindsided and surprised when their partner just upped and left. Let me explain something to you. First of all, if you are blindsided and you are confused and surprised when your partner left, I don't care how many years you were in your relationship, you don't have relationship game. It means that you do not understand how women work. If you're sitting there heartbroken and you're wondering, man, I knew this woman for years. I just, I just didn't see the signs, right? I thought we talked it out. Women do not work the same way men do emotionally. So whatever it is that makes sense to you in our own rational and logical way, it does not work the same way for women, right? The next thing is that, listen, you know, there are lots of guys under 30, especially, who will uh, begin the process of ending their behavior with pornography. But what they really want is they really want to be in a relationship guilt-free. The guilt of being in a relationship and feeling that you are betraying your partner by using pornography is actually greater than your personal desire to end your behavior. It is greater than your principles. It's greater than your values. It's greater than whatever you think you can gain from creating pornography. Why? Well, because you're a nice guy. Right? You're a nice guy. You don't even, you don't live in a world of abundance. You have been pre-programmed to hop into a relationship as soon as possible because somebody planted the seed and told you that being in a relationship or being married equates happiness. Many of you do not know how to be alone. You do not know how to be alone. You're actually very lonely. You don't know how to be in solitude. So what you're always looking for to fill the hole up inside you is a relationship. You're like, I need that to feel complete. But another interesting thing is the conditioning that was done to you is also telling you that the moment that you get into a relationship, a long-term relationship, and you get married, you are now a man. Right? You're somehow a man, and this makes you a more responsible person. So a lot of the brothers who are trying to end their behavior, the minute they gain a little bit of control, by a little bit of control, maybe they go for their first month or two, three months without pornography, they're like, girl, I'm gonna wipe you, wipe you up. Why? Because right now, they have optimal neurochemistry because you've been off porn for a short amount of time. You've not rewired your brain, but you've never had this amount of dopamine, this amount of, excuse me, serotonin, this amount of peace in your life. So you feel good, you feel optimistic. You put a ring on it. You put a ring on it. But interestingly enough, because you now feel you're a man, you simultaneously decide that you can control this behavior on your own, which is the thing that kept you struggling on your own before you sought out help. It was also that belief that you could do this on your own. Guess what happens? After a few months, some guys after a year, you're back where you started. Why? Because you haven't defined your reboot. You do not have control over your behavior. You have not actually set value standards and principles for yourself as a man. And the problem and the cycle continues. So my advice for you brothers is that if you are 30 and under, heck, if you're like even older than that and you're single, uh, control your behavior with pornography first, establish some values and standards in your life, and for the love of God, learn game, okay? Get your game together, right? Whether it is in your dating life or in your relationship life, obviously we can help you with that, but there are a lot of other qualified professionals out there who can help you. If you're interested, then DM me the word dating to see if you're a good fit for our dating reboot program. But really, the past the past month, that's way too many guys. Way too many guys who are ending their 
relationships. Oh, let me mention one last thing before I go. There was also another guy who straight up quit the program. The thing that prompted this is, it has been probably about six years since I had a brother quit our program because he was getting married, not because he ended his behavior with pornography. And I actually got on a call with him and he told me straight up, he was like, man, I'm getting married. Um, and that's my priority right now. And it, I couldn't, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I asked him some coaching questions and I came to understand finally that this conditioning runs deep. Many men, it is very important to end their behavior with pornography, but it is more important for them to get married and have a partner. It's more important for their identity. And many men view pornography as this habits. Just, you know what, if I can just stop with this behavior, which shouldn't take too long, and I agree, it shouldn't take too long, but it's just kind of like a pit stop on, on the journey of their life, which it is for some guys, but for a lot of men, brothers, there are a lot of other issues attached to it. There are a lot of other insecurities it might bring up. Sometimes it's attached to a traumatic, unresolved issue from your past. The brothers begin the program, they realize how much work it's going to take, and they're like, fuck that, I'm gonna get married first. Right? I can't stay with this. Like, I don't see the value of quitting pornography to my self-image. And that is unfortunately one of the, the challenging things about ending this behavior, right? Very few men understand how much it will change their lives because they think it's just quitting porn. That's what you think. But brother, it is not quitting porn. It is not just changing habits, many habits, many deep-rooted habits. It's also changing your lifestyle completely. It is hitting the reset button, right? And then it is changing your entire self-image. That self-image is not as bothered by rejection as your current self-image, right? That self-image understands commitment at a deeper level. The lifestyle and your habits that you bring, that you build up, are those of vulnerability. They are those of understanding another person. You are reading another person. Right? especially the opposite sex. You're able to open up to them, open up your heart to them. That's what you learn when you reboot. Y'all are out here getting married and putting a ring on it. Uh, not everybody, this is, obviously I'm generalizing. If I'm referring to you or if you feel this is speaking directly to you, there's a reason for that. But many of you out there putting a ring on it when you do not have those skills yet. Remember, gentlemen, as men, your prefrontal cortex does not complete its development till you're about 25, 26 years old, right? I'm not saying you're a boy. I'm not saying you're not technically a man or anything like that. I'm just saying that you have retarded its development or negatively impacted it in some way by your use of pornography through your teens and your early 20s. It's not just an out of control behavior issue. It's a you issue, it's a self-image issue, it's a life, it's a lifestyle issue. So before you go out there uh, uh, hurting yourself, because a lot of these men are hurt, before you go out there making huge decisions that will impact your life, take care of your behavior with pornography, all right? That's my message for you guys today. Talk to you later.